Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel it is Mike's Talks and Thoughts here. Today I'm just going to be going through my Reddit page and reacting to whatever I see on it. So basically with my Reddit I follow pretty much anything TV that I like. So you're going to see a lot of Breaking Bad, Dexter, especially Dexter because you know Dexter New Blood's out. And I just wanted to go through my Reddit for you guys maybe here on a 10-15 minute video and kind of give my thoughts on each post that I see on my Reddit and kind of show you guys what my Reddit looks like. I go through this, you know, daily, see what's on there, see what people have to say. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Just sit back and relax. So yeah, first here from the Dexter subreddit, just finished rewatching season three. Dan Miguel is even more diabolical than I remembered. Yeah, Miguel was pretty crazy. Uh, season three, you know, kind of iffy on it but i still think it's a really good season though but probably the weakest of the first four for sure i work in a hospital and i make and read blood slides every day here is a box of a real blood slide after after an especially busy shift that is different hmm. okay and here we just got an ad gary in versus davidson sizer duel that's great Regular show is another one that I get commonly on my Reddit page. Underrated in the idiot character race. Why didn't Dexter? I'm not going to read that because that's a spoiler for you guys. But um, you know what? We'll click on it. Why didn't Dexter become a chef for his new identity? <laughs> oh, that's great. Um... You know, Dexter loves cooking, so that that's pretty funny. I like that. Now this one, Howard had the best character development in my opinion. I want to read this because I definitely think this is definitely true. I'm not so sure how many people exactly, but I know that there are a lot of people who really hate Howard and disregard all of the development he went through. A few going even as far as attacking the actor who played Howard, shaking my head. He was still creeping, perverted, and very childish in the beginning, but he ended up becoming a mature guy, caring friend, and a loving father and husband. I totally agree with this. I think Howard's my favorite character on The Big Bang Theory, even more than Sheldon. I know Sheldon's the popular choice, but I always liked Howard the best. I thought he was the funniest of the main cast, and just for me, you know, he had really great character development. I love when characters are put in their place. Any other notable reality checks? Oh, I love that. <laughs> what What was the best thing that Joey ever did for someone else? To me, it was giving up meat for pregnant Phoebe. So the meat he didn't eat and her meat would cancel out. <laughs> I, I think that's true. Uh, you know, Joey had a lot of great things. Um, that was definitely one of his best for sure. I also follow, of course, the television subreddit. I like seeing what, you know, people are talking about for the newest things. Um, so let me take a look at this. Kate Winslet, I feel way cooler as a 40-something actress that I've ever imagined. The star of one of 2021's biggest TV Biggest TV hits, Mayor of Easttown. Never seen that. Talks about weepy reunions with Leonardo DiCaprio bringing, binging Ted Lasso and middle-aged woman taking over our screens. Uh, I have not seen Mayor of Easton. Probably not something I'm going to check out. But Ted Lasso, on the other hand, that's one that's definitely going to be on my watch list here sometime. I have a lot of projects before that, though. So, in Ted Lasso, too, I might watch once it's already finished out my new year accurate so accurate like you just get really happy at 12 o'clock and then 12 one's like all right it's already worn off i love the uh sponge rob reddit too they'd be posting like the funniest memes on there fenton that 70s show let's see What are your thoughts and feelings on the character? Oh, I think he's my favorite side character. Not sure what's going on with the feuds, but I have a picture in my head of him wearing all that jewelry at the ring store. Men, you can <laughs> you can't live with them. Well, you can, but you can but you have to keep quiet about it. Um, 
I I know who he's talking about. The guy at the ring store, of course. Um, you know, he kind of has a duel with Fez, uh, and you know, Eric is mainly the one who talks to them. But favorite side character? Nah, that is Leo all day, every day. Leo will always be the best side character on that '70s show, and that will never change. Lois Jane delivers every line with perfection. Now, I wasn't a big fan of Lois on the show, Malcolm in the Middle, but I do have to agree that she did a really good job acting because her character was meant for you to hate her, and she did a great job at that, so that's great. My th theory on Flats. Now, I love reading the SpongeBob theories uh, and watching videos on it. You know, that's real interesting. I'm pretty sure that Mrs. Puff hired Flats to beat up SpongeBob. That's why she lets... Flats boy Spongebob. When Flats fails, Mrs. Puff get, got upset, and she said, and she kicked Spongebob's butt. <laughs> this is great. Um, I wish this was included in the Mrs. Mrs. Puff theory. Uh, a great video by a dude named Alex Bale. He made a great Mrs. Puff theory video and uh, about how Mrs. Puff is pretty much being uh, controlled by someone to teach Spongebob so she doesn't have to go back to prison. And, you know... Mrs. Puff can hire Flats to do her dirty work for her, so I like that. The medical history of Ron Swanson. Probably nothing. Uh, <laughs> erase all pictures of Ron. Great. I love that meme. Canada jokes are going to be Brit jokes now. <laughs> so I guess... Oh, I didn't even know this. I am following the How I Met Your Father uh, Hulu account. I had no clue that um, yeah, they're going to have some guy who's from England. So, yep, that's probably going to happen, of course, with Robin, the Canada jokes. Now it's going to be with this guy with the British jokes. So we'll have to see how How I Met Your Father do does. I'm hoping it does good. I don't think it's going to be anywhere close to How I Met Your Mother's uh, quality. But hopefully it is good. What the heck do I watch next? What the title says. The music, the characters, the chemistry, the jokes, and the music again. I mean, what on earth am I supposed to do now? Any suggestions? So this is from the Freaks and Geeks subreddit. My best advice is watch Undeclared. Right here. First comment, Undeclared. Rogan is the only one from the Freaks and Geeks that was a series regular. But Jason Siegel had a reoccurring role. And several others. Freaks and Geeks actors made appearances. The shows are pretty connected uh, like that. Because, you know, Judd Apatow... He did work on Freaks and Geeks, and he created Undeclare. There's a lot of similar actors and actresses. If you need something to watch after Freaks and Geeks, watch Undeclared if you haven't seen it yet. Is Howard going to die by hanging? This is a very interesting theory for the Better Call Saul Season 6 because we know that, of course, you know, Kim and Jimmy at the end of season five, we're talking about making Howard's life miserable and doing something that's like unforgivable that's going to cause Howard to be in a lot of stress and a lot of pain. And a lot of people have theorized that he's going to commit suicide in season six. I do think it could happen because his character right now isn't really too relevant to the main story. It's not like they could kill him off and it really wouldn't do much for the story. So... Um, it wouldn't impact the story. Um, at least Howard wouldn't impact the story, killing him off. But it definitely would have a huge impact. I feel like on Kimmy and uh, Jimmy, as you know, this is going to be something life changing. If they do something to him and he ends up committing suicide because of it, that might be a big factor in season six. So we'll have to see. I definitely think he could be. Uh, Definitely on the kill watch list for sure. Iconic. <laughs> I love that. Of course, when they egg uh, Jay and Gloria's house and Gloria uh, goes off. Just so great. Neil Patrick Harris truly did deserve to be the highest paid actor of the cast. Now this I don't know because my buddy Nick has talked about this and, and said that he does not deserve to be paid more than his co-stars. I would agree. I think they should have did what the Friends cast did. You know, everyone got equal pay, and they all were getting around a million per episode. 
they should do something like that for how i met your mother maybe not that high a million but like maybe five hundred thousand each for each cast of the main cast because neil patrick harris while he is the best actor on the show i feel like and the best character um did not deserve to be paid more history repeats itself hmm let's see I do not know where this is from on the Dexter. So I guess, okay. So I'm seeing it now. Of course, this is uh, Harry and Dexter. Dexter's looking to, this is at the early part of the show is when Dexter's looking to kill someone. And then, of course, when Harrison gets attacked by those guys on the wrestling team, Dexter comes in and tries to stop him. Um, you know, very symbolic, very... Uh, similar, like I said, my prediction for New Blood is that, of course, the torch is going to get passed down through Harrison some way, somehow. And they could do a spinoff series with Harrison um, being um, Dexter's, uh, like Dexter being Harrison's new dark passenger. So I could definitely see that happening. So, yeah, a lot of similarities here. Wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I love the community subreddit. Uh, community, a great show. <laughs> Cracks me up every single time. You can't leave us. We're a danger to ourselves. We're a family of fire starters, poison eaters, and online prostitutes. <laughs> Alex is great, of course. Um, love the... Phil and Claire side of the family. Just so great. Ned's Declassified. Now, this is one that I don't see a lot. Uh, actually, I was looking on my Reddit last night, um, and I saw that there was a podcast that was posted on YouTube about it, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Wanted to share this Ned's Declassified cosplay I did with some friends a few years ago. I was Vice Principal Krubs. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Uh, Vice Principal Krubs. What, what a legend on the show he is. Of course, you got Gordy, Ned. This is great. That is awesome. How does this work? Oh, I see. They're showing how High Five Ghost has stuff on, but, you know, he's off the ground. I don't even know. Maybe, maybe they kind of have him feel like he still has his human form. I don't really know how that would work, but that's a, that's a funny touch. Any Sims fans out there, after watching The Good Place for the hundred, thousandth time, I was inspired to build a neighborhood in the Sims universe. Um, That's pretty cool. If they build it kind of just like how The Good Place is built, that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's Eleanor's house, of course. This is the first room that they see when they enter in the series. That's pretty cool. You know, do your thing on the Sims universe. Make the good place world. Stranger Things, you know, season four, I'm looking forward to. He's not my boyfriend. You better tell him that because only love makes you this stupid. I believe this is from, um, I can't remember if this is Jonathan or... Uh, Steve she's referring to let me look in the comments here because I just I can't tell um, just by looking um, let's see I think they're referring to Jonathan here Well, they're definitely together now, but they're kind of separated at this point. Just because, you know, Jonathan, Eleven, Will, and Joyce all moved out to California. What should have happened with the Lord of the Rings ring? Uh, they should have sold it, yes. Or returned it. Like, I think they just should have sold it, man. You know how expensive it would have been. Like... I thought the thing with the holding the ring longest is kind of just dumb. <laughs> F 
favorite movie character. Yeah, I also have I follow the favorite characters. Man, it's got to be Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. I love Buddy the Elf as well, but I got to go Kevin here. Yeah, and Kevin's winning with Buddy the Elf in second place. The beginning of every regular show episode and the ending of every regular show episode. Facts. Did the, did the parents know about each other? Were both working for the company. Was there ever any time that they were both knew each other's presence? I never got the impression that they did during the boys' interactions with them. Um, maybe, but I don't think they were separated. I believe they were never working together. Um, for the most part, it seemed like they were. She was off, you know, in different countries while Aldo was kind of back home. So, I don't really feel like they would have really known their presence really. 20th birthday, Breaking Bad style. I love that. You know, I got to do that for sure with the bacon for sure. And I love too how they use the vegan bacon because that's a callback to the first episode when um, Walter Jr. is complaining about it. And Walt says, we need to watch our cholesterol. <laughs> I've waited 30 plus years for a broken bone just for this. <laughs> that's great from The Simpsons. But I think here I'm going to be wrapping it up pretty soon. Probably just like five more posts. So next year, Sons of Anarchy. Opie deserved better. Rewatching for the hundredth time. And only one thing is for sure. Opie really got the shit out of the stick. Um, That's facts. Um, You know, Opie really did get the short end of the stick when it comes to Sons of Anarchy. He had such a rough time you know with all the events that happened to his family just so sad for opie but opie's still one of the best characters in the universe favorite character favorite mcu characters um you know this is pretty interesting i'm not going to go through all of this this is just too much but you can um definitely look on it if you want to go to the reddit page and give your thoughts on it Pierce health checkup had me wheezing you know family guy is great one of the best shows out there um so yeah, definitely check this out on the Family Guy Reddit page. Yeah, I also follow the movies. John Wick Chapter 4 delayed until 2023. Saw this in Basic Story. Nice meta joke about the show getting canceled. Yeah, because this community kind of got canceled, re-brought back. It was kind of going through a kind of a cycle. So that's cool how they kind of added something like that in the background. Alright, I'm going to go through three more here. And then we're going to wrap it up. Atlanta season three premieres January or Atlanta season three premieres March twenty fourth, twenty twenty two on FX. So Atlanta, I haven't seen it, but I've heard really good things about it. You know, I've heard Donald Glover's on it, so of course, pretty cool how it follows the community post. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll check out Atlanta. Not one that I'm really high on right now. My watch face cover. <laughs> that's cool the Dwight on the Apple watch of course when he's doing his impressions when he has a wig of everyone in the office and the last one I'm going to go through here is the last one on the Dexter subreddit been re-watching the original series and just wondering if anyone else laughs every time Dokes comes on screen with that scowl of his great you know surprise motherfucker uh, surprise motherfucker when I got to that part I was absolutely giddy Noticing a lot of callbacks between New Blood and the original. It's nice to see. Also, I don't even remember Lila, so it must have been ages since I last watched. Yeah, Lila, of course, is in season two. Um, it's pretty cool how they made that callback. Um, I just love the connections between New Blood and the original. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just reacting here to my subreddit, of course. If you guys want me to do a follow-up on this video, let me know. Um, I know it's kind of a different sort of video and maybe someone doesn't care about what I have to show on my Reddit, but I just thought I'd give my thoughts, of course. And so what I like to do is talk and give my thoughts on stuff. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.